Hey everyone, we're going to do another uh, shallow water flipping jig today. In the vise, we have a quarter ounce sparky head with a two owner 5304 deep throat hook. And the color is brown camo. Um, I'm calling this pattern 3B Flash. I wasn't going to do another one. Um, but I did have some ideas and um, when I was making up some of these for my uh, for myself for this this summer and uh, I like this one so much I figured I, I would show you this as well because uh, I wanted to do some hair jigs but I had to show you this one so I'm gonna take a little bit of um, super glue brush on just a dab a little dab will do you and we're going to use some brown 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and get a little base started here um i know some people ask me questions about materials and things of that nature um i do link my materials down in the description box so check there if you you know i know a lot of people don't do that but check the description box that's where i list the materials i'm using uh this is kind of simple but at the same time i really like the way it came out so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a half a tab of this is just plain brown pepper that's all and I'm going to, I cut the tab in half to make it easier to tie in. And just spread it out a little bit, that's all. Flip it over and do the same thing. And make sure I have enough out the back. And make sure it's nice and tight. Now, the next color I'm going to add is this is rust brown barbed wire and this is a full tab yeah i was so happy with the way this came out that's why i decided i hey i'm gonna do another shallow water flipping jig And I wanted to show you that. And the reason, this is one of the things now, um, I cut these in half to make them easier to tie in, but it also allows me to mix it up a little bit. Like the brown pepper, we put one on each side. Now the rust brown is on the top. And now this is the other color, a full tab of this but we cut it in half and this is chestnut brown half wire. So we're going to tie that in. Spread it out a little bit. And now we're going to go on top of that with the other half of the rust brown. See, by doing that, you're mixing them, you're getting them all inter intermingled there and I 
have a, a straggler there. Now we'll flip it back and we're going to add the last tab of our chestnut brown. And that's going to go on top of this rust brown that we have on the top. So that way, all the colors are intermingled and dispersed. So you, you it really, to me, I, I think when you do it that way, you're really disguising the look at this. You're breaking, you're breaking the whole thing up and you're adding a modeled appearance. Um, and I think that's looks more natural in the water. Me personally, I, I, I don't know what the fish think. If I did, I'd be a, a multimillionaire for sure. Now, we're going to add some flash. And this is, um, this is gunmetal flashaboo. I know um, my camera doesn't show it, but it looks almost like a metallic chocolate. It, it's really a, a really cool uh, color in the flashaboo. And what we're going to do, here's one, st uh, one strand of it. Now we're not going to double it over because we stone. Um, it's. I don't want it just on the back end. I want it on the whole jig itself, covering you know the top and the bottom. There's the second piece of flash. And number three. Now you might think, you'll see in a second. There's three pieces of flash that we tied in. And I'm going to flip it over. And we are going to do three more it seems like a lot but you'll see I really like the way it came out that's why I'm doing this that's one of the neat things when you experiment you Sometimes you come up with stuff you even surprise yourself. Ah, oh, I must... Oh, there it is. Can't see this. I thought I lost it. And this is number six. So you have six strands of the flash. Now I take one of my little hair clips here. just to make this a little easier to finish up. Oh, I got to make sure I must have missed that. That's all right. I'm just going to flip it up here. There we go. That's the only thing with adding like a lot of flash to a jig like this is when you're finishing up the collar. This is one of the advantages of using thread as well. Like every time I wire tie and I add flash, it ends up no matter how tight I tie it, I can always pull the flash out. The thread won't do that.
Okay. Now we're going to whip finish it. I got that. See, this is the part of the, the flash that really makes it tough. It, it grabs a hold of the thread. So does the skirt material. Come on. There we go. I had to un I had to undo it. I apologize for that. Just because trying to they should just go ahead and do it instead of trying to uh keep the flash from getting trapped. Four more. I apologize for that. We're good. Now we're going to take our Sally Hansen's. And get the excess off there. That's pretty good. I got to reach back here and get my big scissors. Unclip. I want to make sure my flash is straight when I cut this. Come on, Flash. I have one piece that's all curled up here, and it's giving me fits. <laughs> See, there's one little piece there. Well, oh, two little pieces. There. Now, we're going to take this out and we're going to put our weed guard in, which we're using a brown uh, FG30 super glue gel. You would think going through this all the time that it'd be like clockwork, but something always gets messed up. I could tie a hundred of these. 99 will be good and the, the one I put on camera is the one that gives me trouble. That's okay. Still come out, right? And you'll see. Now once I get this all straightened out, I'm going to pull my material down and then I'm going to Get some of them long strag stragglers and make sure I get my finish length. Because I, I do want these a little bit shorter than what I normally would. But there you have it. That's 3B Flash. And 
what's really what I really love about this is that flashaboo. Um, that re that gunmetal really blends in with this brown, so you don't see it until the light hits it, and then you get that glint. I think it's cool. Anyway, there you have it. 3B Flash. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.